It's nice to see you uh, today and yesterday, of course. Θα θέλω να ξεκινήσουμε με μια παρουσίαση ε, κάποιες εικόνες να σας δώσουμε για we'll να καταλάβετε... We'll show you some, picture, some pictures from uh, our involvement at Ιδωμένη. Θα σου τα λέω καλύτερα, εντάξει, <laughs> συνέχισε εσύ. Ναι, γιατί εσύ δεν θα φτιάχνει. Πάντα βελτιώνω, μη συνεχωρίες. Ε, ξεκινήσαμε τον Άγουστο όπως... Uh, we began in August, yeah. like the rest of them, uh, the churches. It was, it was very hard time. It was a very good opportunity during that uh, the heat wave to give them cold water. Uh, also nectarines that were in the refrigerator, so it was very nice and cool uh, fruit to give them. Uh, items of hygiene, especially for women and children. This was the first, the initial first uh, uh, visit to Idomeni. And uh, the camp that we saw yesterday, uh, it's located right there. So you see the machinery uh, preparing the place. And in 30 meters from this side are, is the border with the uh, fire on. Αυτό ήταν το πρώτο κοριτσάκι που εμένα με συγκλώνησε και έκλεγα σταμάτατα εκεί τη μέρα. This was the first uh, child that I saw and I was so moved that I started crying. Uh, it was the first day when we visited there. Καθώς ε, μοιράσαμε και κάποια άσματα το καπέλο της κόρης μας. The, the hat is my daughter's hat and we gave it to her. Και όπως είδατε και χθες το καπέλο είναι πολύ απαραίτητο όταν είσαι πολλές ώρες εκεί. And as you noticed yesterday, hats are necessary in that heat and when you are some time there. Φανταστείτε τον Άγουστο. So you can imagine what August was like. Αυτή η οικογένεια, όλες οι οικογένειες είναι πολύ τεχνές, έχουν από 5-6 παιδιά. All the families are families with many, many children, four, five, six children. Εδώ είναι η πρώτη μας αποστολή, έκανε πολύ αέρα, πολύ σκόνη και μαζί με κάποιους ε, πρόσφυγες Σύριους. And this is our first team that went there. On that day it was uh, very windy, dust was uh, in the air. Από πίσω εδώ είναι τα σύνορα. Those are where the, that's where the borders are. Ε, και εδώ ας πούμε είναι οι αποστολές μας κάθε, uh, κάθε εβδομάδα. You know, these are pictures practically from every uh, from our weekly visits, the truck is Savas truck, so it's packed with uh, food and clothing and. Uh, uh, the, the generator for the first three four months we used our own generator because there was no power. So especially during the winter months and the cold months, they prepared hot tea to give uh, to the refugees. Okay. We, we also use the generator to provide power for their uh, uh, cellular phones, mobile phones to be charged. Each visit, uh, you know, we prepare about 1,500 sandwiches. Είναι πολλές αδελφές στην Εκκλησία που δεν μπορούν να έρθουν και τις Δετάρτες, αλλά βοηθάνε ανελικώς. All these are from the church. Many of them cannot come to Ιδωμένη, so the day before they get together to prepare all this. <laughs> the, these are pictures from uh, the church uh, premises. Uh, this is Sakis Paisius' car, packed. With sandwiches. We all start every time we just before we leave we pray. On average, on, on, on average, we are about 20 volunteers that will go. Now we have more volunteers that we have liked to go, but we don't have cars. So we use our own cars, but that's the limit. For us. Now these are pictures for 
each visit. We also we we also uh, buy three hundred three thousand buns and also fruit and we put that in a bag along with a tray of uh, hot meat, you know, food. Now, usually, the rest of the days, they just give the hot food. We add to that a bun and a fruit. Now, these are, uh, again, pictures throughout the winter times. Μια άλλη διακονία που γεννήθηκε στις κρύες μέρες του χειμώνα ήταν οι κυρίες που, όπως είπαμε, ε, δραστηριοποιήθηκαν πάρα πολύ έντονα. Ήταν να αγοράζουν με ένα ευρώ, ας πούμε, το μαλάκι και να πλέκουν δύο-τρει μέρες την εβδομάδα και να μαζεύονται και you... συνέδωσαν και να δίνουν τα yeah. σκουφάκια. During uh, the winter months, uh, the ladies of the church started this uh, ministry. They bought uh, the wool and they uh, knit hats, scarves, and uh, gloves to give to the children. So during the week they will gather and they, knit, they will knit together so that on Wednesday when the teams went they will uh, give it to the children. So what they only required is they liked what they did they just ask, when you put it on the child, just take a picture. I want to see the uh, child with them. Yeah. So all these are, you know, things that they made during the winter. Okay, the, here is uh, uh, the clothing distribution. Now, this lady is 82 years old, all right, and uh, she's uh, involved quite a bit. They, she would like to come every week, but we don't take her every week, all right. Yeah. Many times the conditions, the weather conditions are not very good, uh, you know, sometimes there's strong winds there. Here is the, you know, the tea, and they like tea, the refugees. Here is the kitchen you saw it yesterday. Here is the preparation for the meal to be cooked. The fruit and the buns. There's another cook there. <laughs> okay, this man is another 80 year old man. Uh, throughout his life, he always provided wood for poor, pe poor people. And then during this winter, he said, why don't we take some wood to the refugees because they were so cold. And it was his uh, suggestion. And uh, they got two tons, the first time, two tons of wood. He wanted to take that to the camp. But of course, they did not let him. In August, he had an open heart surgery also. So, when they took the wood there, it was in a few minutes the whole thing gone because they needed the wood to keep warm. And it was, this was repeated a couple times. Okay, some uh, pictures with children. Team, the team along with some refugees. This was an uh, unfortunate day. On that day, they took a truck, open truck, 
And what happened was when they, the truck stopped, the refugees just swarmed in and they took everything, ripped uh, boxes. Some of our volunteers were stepped uh, upon. One person fell down and they stepped over her, so it was a very difficult day. Now, uh, the ladies had prepared 1,500 pieces of cake, and uh, as the whole thing uh, transpired, uh, there were some pieces that fell down, and his, uh, Sava says, I was shocked when they will gather even the smaller pieces of the cake that fell to eat it. They were so hungry. Και μετά ξεκίνησε η ιδέα. Α, θα το δω τώρα και μετά. Εδώ έχουμε κάποιε με τα σκουφάκια που σα λέγαμε πιο μπροστά. Some of the pictures with the hats and the gloves and the scarves. Και αυτέ τι φωτογραφίε δείχναμε σε αυτέ που τα φτιάχναμε. Παίζαμε και μαζί του εκεί. Many times our volunteers played with the children there. These are pictures that, on their way to the Domeni, many, many refugees will walk. These pictures are, pictures are from those days that were very difficult with a lot of rain. Yeah. Yeah. The different uh, play, you know, parts of the camp. Yeah. Well, no, no words there. Here was we know. With those difficult, in those difficult days, many children without shoes, and we will uh, provide uh, socks and shoes also. He was a very good help on that day. And uh, uh, one uh, thing that we noticed was uh, the people will have, you know, fires in front of their tents, and that's how the idea came to give, provide them raw potatoes so that they will bake them in the fire. In the uh, this man provided the potatoes, and uh, following that, we bought. <laughs> and these are, you can see pictures from preparation of. Here's the distribution of all those. You, know, you met uh, Andoni Sofos yesterday. Okay. And this is a Christian who we met there. Mr. Nahoris, come on. Let's see what he says. Here he is. In Yanitsa, he starts here. Let's go now to this. Okay, a uh, couple of weeks ago, a new camp opened in Yanitsa, which is the city close to the village. Uh, and uh, they asked for the church's involvement in that camp. As we went there, we noticed that they were in shortage of ev practically everything. That they needed. They they did not have any medicine, uh, so we provide all the medicine for the children, as many children were uh, suffering from the flu. 
And we provide all the necessary things. This is the first time they went to that camp. Now, this is about 10 minutes away from the village. Yesterday was the second uh, visit there. And um, so the, the team, the, the church had sent two teams on the same day. One camp, a team went to this camp and the other to the many. Πολύ ωραία. Τώρα σε έρθουμε σε αυτό γιατί είναι πολύ σημαντικό. Two weeks ago, or πόσο, δύο εβδομάδες, πριν δύο εβδομάδες, τρεις εβδομάδες, πόσο. Περίπου, ναι, δύο εβδομάδες. Two weeks ago, uh, the church took from the many three families. So they are hosting three families right now. The two families are Catholic and one family are Muslim. Okay. The UNHR asked if the church could take these people. So in cooperation with them, in agreement with them, we took them in and we are hosting them. Okay. Okay, since they came over to the village, they start helping us in preparation of the food. Yeah. The, you know, all of these are refugees that are living at the village there. Here, he's a, he's a German pastor from Germany. He was, he took the Eastern vacation. He came and helped for a week. Okay. Okay. Each visit to the many costs about fifteen hundred euros. And the visit to the new camp, it's about one thousand euros. Uh, we are very thankful to the Lord that he, until now he has provided all that. But the uh, needs are expanding right now. So as camps are opening up and we are being called to come and help, uh, we are stretching very thin right now. Okay. Δώσαμε τη διαθεσιμότητά μας στον Δήμαρχο και ο Δήμαρχος μας κάλεσε και μας είπε ότι θέλει, θέλει να τη βοήθειά μας και μας ζητάει να είμαστε και στο, στο συντονισμό, ε, στην Επιτροπή του Συντονισμού. With the, the new camp in Yanitza, the mayor of Yanitza has called us and asked us not only for our involvement, but to also to use our expertise from Idomeni, because they do not have that expertise. Και ήδη, ήδη, ε, the military, the military is responsible for that camp. The military has uh, expressed their needs. And uh, right now they asked us to provide the solar heaters so that the camp will have uh, hot water and also some uh, boilers for water to for the children to have hot water. Now, they expressed that need to the, all those who were present in the meeting, but we were the only ones who said we stepped in and we said we will provide part of it. Uh, earlier, I had a phone call from the ministry of, uh, that is responsible for the camps, 
uh, from the Greek government, και who they, they are responsible for five θέλει, camps. Και θέλει πηγόντως να, να, να βρεθούμε σήμερα ε, μαζί με τον Ηλία μετά που τελειώσουμε από εδώ στα Διαβατά ε, για να μιλήσουμε το, και για το, για το Wi-Fi. And he is asking for a meeting today, right after we finish here with Ηλίας and myself, to uh, meet and discuss how we can help and set up Wi-Fi and other, uh, you know, uh, infrastructure aspects for the Διαβατά camp, which is very close here. Και το τελευταίο που θα ήθελα να πούμε είναι ότι θέλουμε να κάνουμε και ένα ακόμα κτίριο φιλοξενίας δίπλα σε αυτό που έχουμε. Okay, uh, uh, the last thing, uh, we have a building that we want to develop. It's next to the house that where we are hosting these three families. And we the building is there, but we want to develop it into an apartment building. All right? All right. And uh, that's the next project. So we can house at least another three, four, five families there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Sava. So